well, I've always worked as what used to be called years ago. I started off in web design. And um, so I've had roles like web design, web designer, graphic designer. So I've always worked with code, it's just front-end code. Um, but they're not a million miles from each other. It's all about solving problems and finding solutions um, and solving puzzles. So even though they're set their left and right brain, they're not that dissimilar from each other. Um, I find the digital environment is very progressive and much more interesting than, say, the print environment. Um, so yeah, it's not a massive change, but I felt that it's something that I wanted to jump into. Probably the environment that I'm working in, the attitudes of people I find, um, the very similar attitudes to the attitude that I have, very much into uh, networking and finding out more about the product and about the languages that you're learning. Um, that is in design, but in a different, to a different extent, I think it's really, really strong in the development department. Yeah. As soon as I started at Dublin UX, uh, there was huge enthusiasm, which really surprised me. I thought I would have interest in the group, but within, like, it's less than a year, we have 1,100 members. We constantly have massive waiting lists on all of our talks, which is a shame, but it's also great to have that much enthusiasm. We have as many people going, we could have 140 people going to an event and 140 people on a waiting list. Um, and there's a huge enthusiasm from both individuals and companies. Companies are really interested in sponsoring and getting involved and hosting, which is great. It's, it's, um, it shows a real enthusiasm for, the, for UX in general, and a real thirst for more knowledge, which is great. I sing this <laughs> for a living. It's everything. You can have an amazing product and you can have an amazing app that does fantastic things. But if your users can't find those features and those functions, then they, they may as well not be there. So your user is your advocate. It's, if you give your user your the best experience and they enjoy using your app, they will trust you and they'll return and it will make your app successful. Without users, your app can't be successful. So it's everything. If you spoil them, they'll spoil you back. Probably communication can be an issue. I think to write the team, but it's probably most important from the leadership roles down. Um, but definitely threaten the team. Like good communi communication is the key to good teamwork, and so people can understand what, why they're frustrated or what's happening next. And people it'll stop people from getting frustrated as well. And if they, like, say, if designers can explain their ideas to developers and vice versa, you know, um, it reduces arguments and helps every, helps the workflow. My favourite thing is probably the enthusiasm with a good team. I'm in a good team at the moment, and the enthusiasm and the dedication that people have. Um, is really important and you find people can fill holes that you can't fill and you can jump in and help each other and it really it makes it a joy to go to work and it makes it it's great to work in a team where you actually want to go for a coffee with people because you really are genuinely excited about what you're working on and people want to learn more and they don't want to stay in the office till 12 o'clock at night because they're normal but they want to work as hard while they're there and get the best job done to a high standard.